there are things that can happen to us all. And in fact, in the next few minutes now, I'm going to try to induce in you, the audience, the same kind or a similar kind of misattribution memory that occurred in the Donald Thompson case. Okay, so you guys are gonna be the subjects now. Maybe we have a few college undergraduates here, but probably not everybody. <laughs> I hope not. And all you have to do is listen to a list of words that I'm gonna say, and I want you to remember these, and I will test your memory for these words in just a couple of minutes, so pay attention. And I'm gonna predict right now that in the next couple of minutes, a number of you are going to exhibit a false memory that is kind of like what we just talked about. So here's the word list. Listen carefully. Candy, sour, sugar, bitter, good, taste, tooth, nice, honey, soda, chocolate, heart, cake, eat, pie. Okay? That's it. That's the list, that's all there is to it. Very simple, very straightforward. Now there are various ways I could test your memory now for that list. I could give you what we call a free recall test. Think of all the words, quietly to yourself for a moment, <laughs> that I just said. Try to just retrieve all the words. Think of them for a second. If you can't come up with 10 by now, you have certified brain damage. No, that's, <laughs> that's not true. It's um, not true. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> Now we're going to do a different kind of test, a recognition test. I'm going to say a word, and if you think it was one of the ones I just said, I want you to raise your hand, and then I'm going to ask you whether you're sure about that memory or not, okay? The first word is taste. Who remembers me saying taste? Recognize that I said, most people, but not all. How many people are sure that I said the word taste? Maybe about half the audience. Okay, it's pretty good. Taste was on the list. Okay, how about the word point? Does anybody remember me saying the word point? No? Nobody? Boy, you guys are pretty good. Nobody, re nobody remembers point? Oh. Okay, you're good. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Sweet. How many people remember me saying sweet? Almost everybody does. Unbelievable. Um, and keep your hands up. How many people are sure that I said sweet? I did not say sweet. Uh. <laughs> so we're, here we have a situation. I warned you in advance. I was going to try to create a false memory. I told you that you would experience that memory. What did I say? Candy, sour, sugar, bitter, good taste, tooth, nice, honey, soda, chocolate, heart, cake, eat, pie. Sweet was not on the list, but all those words were related to sweet. Is that priming? Sort yeah, of. In a way. Sort of, except that priming is not conscious, where, as we saw, this is very conscious. Most of the people were sure that sweet was on the list. What you're showing is your memory was kind of accurate, just like the woman in the Thompson case her memory was kind of accurate, but wrong in one critical way. Everything I said had to do with sweet, so your memory for the general gist of what I said was accurate, but the specific memory was wrong, and this is a classic kind of memory misattribution error, where if you get the critical detail wrong, and there's some basis for it, in reality, you can have a confident but false memory.